Hey, yo, what's good, YouTube? So UFC Vegas 28 is tomorrow. Uh, Jarzinho Rosenstrike is fighting Augusto Sakai in the main event. So I thought, why not make a quick video on it, uh, doing my predictions and stuff. So there's only, this isn't the most exciting fight night card. It's not the most exciting card overall, just in general. So I thought <clears throat> there's only a few fights I really want to talk about on this card, but uh, Francisco Trinaldo on the, is on the prelims. He's fighting uh, Muslim Salikov. And <laughs> yeah, that should be an exciting fight. I'm going to go with uh, Francisco's, he's getting up there in age, man. I think he's like 42 now, but, and Muslim is pretty good, so. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with Muslim, but, yeah, I'm not gonna go too deep into that fight, but on the main card, on the main card, the first fight I wanna talk about is Santiago Ponzinibbio. Uh, he's fighting uh, Miguel Baeza, and Miguel's a, Young and upcoming prospect. This dude looks pretty nice, man. Uh, Santiago could be on the hot seat. He's getting older. He was he was out for like almost three years due to injury, and he, he came back and he lost to Li Jin Lang, I think. He got knocked out, I believe, and it was either a knockout or a TKO, but either way, he got finished. And I don't know, man. He might not be the same. He was before he got injured. He was a problem. He was on a huge winning streak. Uh, and Miguel Baez is on the come up, man. If <laughs> and Miguel Baez has got the speed advantage, I think this dude's pretty good. So we're gonna find out. <laughs> it's a, it could be a step up in competition for Miguel if Santiago's really still good, but he might. I don't know. He might not be the same. He got finished against Lee, but he's been out for three years. So we'll see how he comes back. He could be on the hot seat if he loses again, man. So. I think I'm going to go with Miguel Baeza. I don't know if Santiago's the same, but <laughs> we'll see, man. Miguel Baeza could be, a, it looks like he's on the come up, and yeah, so I'm going to go with him. And the next fight is Roman Delize against uh, Lorena Staropoli, I believe is how you say his name. I saw Staropoli's last fight. I haven't seen too much of him, but I like watching Roman Delize. I've seen his last few fights. He's a, <laughs> he likes to put the pressure on you and come forward and, so yeah, I'm really interested in that fight. Uh, I don't know who's going to win that fight, man. That should be a good fight. It's probably the fight. I don't know if it's the fight I'm looking the most forward to, but it's a solid fight, man. Uh, I'm going to go with Roman in that one, just because I haven't seen too much of Loreno. But the next fight is uh, Walt Harris versus uh, Marcin Tybura. And <laughs> Marcin Tybura, bro. Uh, this could be, if Walt Harris loses this fight, he could be cut, man, I'm, which is sad to see. He seems like a good dude, man, and there was that story with his, with his, uh, do or his stepdaughter, I believe. So, he's, yeah, he seems like a real good dude. I'd hate to see him go, but I think this will be his third loss in a row. Let me check. Third, maybe, if he loses this one, no, I think it might be his fourth loss in a row if he loses this one. Let me check real quick. I'm on his Wikipedia page. Yeah, this would be his third loss in a row. He lost to Alistar Overeem. I remember I watched that fight. And then he lost to Volkov. So he's been fighting some real good dudes. My, Marcin Tybura should be a step down from those guys. But, yeah, man, we'll see. If Walt Harris loses, he could be cut from the UFC, man. And I'd hate, it sucked to see him go, man, but... He got finished this if he especially if he gets finished, man. And yeah, uh Marcin Tybora's on a good win streak. I just I remember, yeah, he just beat Greg Hardy. He beat Ben Rothwell, so this could be a good win for Marcin Tybora if he if he gets it, so I think I'm gonna go with Tybora in that fight. Walt Harris just looks Walt Harris's gas tank is needs some work, man. He seems like he gasses out really quick in fights, but yeah, man, so I'm gonna go with Marcin Saibura, and then we got the main event, Jarzinho Rosenstrike against Augusto Sakai. Augusto Sakai was on a nice little win streak uh, until he fought Alistair Overeem, and Overeem beat him. I remember he got him on the ground, and he was just ground and pounding him, and there was nothing Sakai could do, but before that, Sakai was on a, a nice little win streak, I believe. Let me see. Who did he beat? Yeah, he beat Marcin Tybora. He beat... Oh, shit, man. 
my laptop just turned off. But yeah, he was on a nice little win streak. Uh, I don't know though. I think Jarzinho is just better. Jar Jarzinho is. He's just got more power than Sakai, I believe. I don't know if Sakai is going to be able to take Jarzinho's power. And I think Jarzinho is just a better striker overall. So I'm going to go with Jarzinho Rosenstrike in that fight. But I, <laughs> I really want to see Jarzinho Rosenstrike push the pace a little bit more, you know. That's what he struggled with against Cyril Gaon in his last fight. He just wouldn't, he wouldn't throw anything. So Cyril Gaon was just, just outstruck him, like... They're both, they both have a kickboxing background. Serial gone, just picked him apart, kind of. So, yeah, I think Jarzinho needs to come out there more aggressive, and I think he should be able to get the job done against Augusto Sakai. I like Augusto Sakai, but I just don't know if he's on that level yet. Jarzinho's fought tougher competition. He fought Francis Ngannou. <laughs> Got knocked the fuck out in that fight, but... Yeah, man, he beat Alistar Overeem, which he was losing that fight, and then he got... He scored a knockdown in the, it split Alistair Overeem's lip, and they, and the ref stopped the fight. I think that was a bad stoppage. He should have lost that fight, but I don't know. I think Jarzinho's just fought better guys than Augusto, so I'm gonna go with Jarzinho Rosenstrike. But yeah, those are just my thoughts on it. Just decided to do a quick little video. I know the event's tomorrow, so I don't know if anybody's really gonna see this video, but yeah, man. If you see this, uh, let me know your predictions in the comments and. You know, I might do a live stream. It's like, I'll probably do a live stream for this fight. Uh, if you watch my videos, uh, there's a couple of you guys who usually join the live stream. So, yeah, that should be some fun. And, yeah, man, let me know what you guys think about this card. Not the greatest card, but, hey, it's a Saturday night, you know. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Who do you got in the main event? What's your fight of the night? And yeah, man, I'm out. Peace out. Y'all have a good night. I'm some third eye shit.